stage. So you can see what she has done here. She has drawn a small caricature of herself. She has written a name and at the bottom, what has she done? She has given a Instagram hashtag because a lot of her work is on Instagram. So if anybody wants to see more of her work, they can follow her on Instagram and check it out. She has given a brief description about herself. I'm a 17-year-old from Kerala. As a logical thinker and uh, who absorbs ideas from everywhere and everyone, and able to evaluate things and visualize without difficulty. I believe myself to be quite flexible about things and works. A lot of my work takes inspiration from nature and imagination. To me, deciding is solving problems. Every criticism and complaint is an opportunity to improve something and create something new. I'm also influenced by aesthetics, artistic visuals, and I find appeal in visual things. So she has uh, given a brief description about herself. And in that description, what has she done? She has highlighted on her qualities and what is it that makes her unique or different from other people. So here she is starting to exhibit her works. So she started with a still life, graphite on paper. A still life, uh, Still life of composition study is what she has mentioned and she has written the year in which she did it, 2020. Now what you must understand is, if you look at it, this is the, probably the only pencil sketch she has put in her entire portfolio, just one pencil sketch. But to be able to achieve this quality of work, it is understood that she would have done hundreds of pencil sketches. So there is no need to put a lot of them, you just need to put one or two at the most which are your best works. So that is enough for the examiner to know what your skills are. So this is mostly skill depiction. There is hardly any uh, creativity in this. It is just a still life. So what is she trying to show here? That I am good with pencil. I am able to show light and shadow. I am a good observer. I am able to observe well and I have a sense of basic so my composition looks good. So that is what she has displayed here. Now the next one she has put is fantasy landscape or a digital work. Here again, what is she to do? She is, um, the caption written is, I try to convey a mystical feeling that is associated with fantasy with the visual and color schemes. So here again, just there's only one digital work which she has put here right now and she has shown skill, how that she's able to create a particular feel, mood using those digital tools, right? This is acrylic on canvas, again one piece, I can see there is a certain amount of creativity also here. It is not just skill, there is a concept or a thought behind this work. A tribute piece for the Amazon forest fires and Australian bushfires of 2019, portraying Mother Earth and her silent despair. So what has she done? She has put it up in context. You remember the Amazon fires which broke out in 2019? It was a huge environmental issue. And she is showing her awareness about what's happening around her and she's also showing a concern by or trying to do something about it by depicting it as a visual. This is some work which she did for somebody, uh, for a particular company. She got a commission for this that she had to design some stickers. She, so she has, she's also showing that she has been working and trying to contribute with whatever skills she has and she's able to network and get orders and you know, uh, contribute to the commercial world as well. This is what she has done uh, for her school performance day props. So she was responsible for creating the props. So you can see the versatility. She's not just doing sketching, she's also doing stickers, digital work, she's doing props. There's a lot of variety in what she's trying to portray. You of course remember the Kerala floods. So this is a piece, this is again a digital piece, but this is definitely a very creative piece as well, right? So uh, she, as a citizen of Kerala, a state with constant floods which lead to immense losses every year. First and foremost, as a student, in these circumstances, I focus this work on one question. We, the students, are always expected to put our studies first. Why are we holding on to these books and saving them from getting soaked at a time when everyone needs to stretch out their hand? That is, everybody was required to work and help during those times, right? And uh, there were parents who were saying, no, you said that, you know. So I guess that is uh, very, it's a very immediate concern for that student because something which is happening right then and there to that student. So, I mean, uh, taking a concept like that and portraying it is definitely a great idea. 
This is of course all the sketching. Okay, the Vaikita junction. Some character designs which she created. Watercolor on paper. Cloth painting and stitching. Okay, that's it. That's all. That's all the portfolio. So of course, she could have added a concluding page as well. Right? So uh, this is this is an example of a good portfolio. Let me show you another UG student who also cleared the NIT exam with a pretty high score. I think it was six or seven all India rank. So this boy was into transportation design and product. So he also used to write a little bit of poetry. So he put up uh, two three lines of his poem. I'm a helium balloon tied to the ground. Let me lose and set me free. I want to test the sky. I want to soar about the stars and explore, explore the universe of design. And uh, for me, design is all about improving people's lives. Okay? School magazine cover, which he did for his school. Banner over the school bus stop. These are some of his storyboards. Now, if you notice, he has not given fancy captions here. He's just left the storyboard because if you are going to the interview with this portfolio, so they're going to ask you if they're interested, what is this all about? And you have the opportunity to explain. So you don't need to clutter it with unnecessary explanations. His travels, which are the places he has traveled. So you can see how all the places he has portrayed, how he has traveled by buses, lorries, to various places like Jaipur, Hampi. So he is trying to show that he is a well traveled, well exposed uh, student. He knows what is happening around him. This is digital pen rendering of the inside of an automobile. This is an organic toy which he has tried to design. Again, some of his random sketches he has just put it together. But what is nice about this portfolio is how he has used black and white and color together. So it's a very creatively arranged portfolio. The previous portfolio we noticed was not really very imaginative in its arrangement. But this one is extremely, he's showing his uh, graphic skills very clearly in this portfolio. So his work is probably not as polished and as organized, but the way it has been put together. And the variety, you can see the kind of things he's drawing is all pretty much varied. There are vehicles, there are some dresses and designs here, there are uh, random observation sketches, he's studying the human body. So you can see that, I mean, it's not like his drawing skills are all that great also. So these are not sketches which he has taken uh, a lot of times. He's playing modeling, so digital pen rendering. So he's showing a lot of versatility. He's the kind of person who has explored different mediums and is curious about the world. He has traveled. So these are the things which are coming across. Okay, I'll show you one more. Medha, the student got into both NID and IIT. So this is art exhibition conducted in 2015. So she got some prizes and awards and uh, her name got printed in some articles. So she has paid a collage of that and put up all her achievements up. It's a magazine, acrylic. So she's arranged it based on mediums. Pencil sketches. She's also put the original photograph along with it. And she's been doing a lot of mural work. Murals, Kerala murals. She's painted a sari. She's tried painting with coffee powder, experimentation. Tried acrylic on the cheapest medium available. What is that? What's the cheapest medium? Paper? And okay, that hand. And uh, redesign. So this is 
This is that's the inspiration, and this is the jewelry she has designed. So she has created one page entirely for the inspiration. So this is for the mirror to the women of the military wives, the brave military wife, to count the days and hours and minutes until uh, the husband returns. Okay. And the second inspiration is the sun god, Kudala uh, chariot. So putting those two together, those two ideas together, she's come up with. Uh, her jewelry, which is like blue pearl for courage. She has specified what stone she is going to be using, what age group of people are going to be, or what is the clarity going to be like. And this is a street and resting area which is inspired by the planets. So, inspired by all this, she has created this particular one. Again, not very great at drawing, you can see, but it is the ideation and the thought process which has been put up, which is interesting. This is a jewelry box designed for a 40 year old teacher. So, 2007 to 2020, an amazing journey. So, she's showing how she started off drawing, what was her skill initially, and what it is now. The last how many years is this? 13 years, right? 13 years she's built up her skill to this level. And she concludes like this. Okay? So yeah, you've got a fairly reasonable idea of how the portfolio should look like or what we can possibly do. There are lots more of uh, portfolios which you can look at, at the, uh, on uh, sites like the Hans and Coroflot. Are you familiar with it? Behance, B E H A N C E, and Coroflot, C O R O F L O T. So check out these, but those uh, the, por the portfolios in these sites are actually made by professional designers. So they are very finished and polished. Yours don't need to be like that. Yours have to be what you are. Okay. Now, yeah, here's another one. Just in case, I think I'll just quickly show you one more at it. Okay, the portfolio starts like this, about some pencil sketches which were done since childhood. This is a oil ink pencil. Here, mostly the work is pretty good, more than the original or the new one. And it is very much skill based if you noticed. You, you don't see much of uh, creativity in this portfolio. But here you can see this is interesting. She's taken this man box style and used that style to create another picture. So you can see all the small little strokes which she has used, red strokes to create the dog. This is again what she used to paint earlier and what she's painting now. This is the mascot. They 